guys are having a rock and rolling day today. I decided to make this video quick one. I was looking online. I was looking, you know, I watch other people's YouTubers. You gotta watch other people's content because you don't know everything and they don't know everything. So the cool thing is, some I read online that some guy didn't know how to make the 10 gig, the default LAN on the Unified Dream Machine Pro. And this will apply to the SE2 and everything like that. If you want the 10 gig SFP Plus to be the default LAN, it's not that hard. All you gotta do is go over, once you've logged into your router, go to the Unified Devices, then you're gonna click your Unified Dream Machine Pro, then you're gonna go over to ports, you're gonna go down at the very bottom, there's something called LAN ports, click that. Then you're gonna go to configure interfaces, and you'll see there's LAN, port nine, and, F, uh, and port 10, SFP plus, the 10 gig one. If you click it, look, you can either disable it or WAN two. People go, oh, I only can disable it or WAN two. As soon as you click disable this, now, you have LAN 1, and now you can make this one the default LAN. This port is gone, and then you can adjust whatever you want, 1 gig or 10 gig out of it. But that's all you got to do. So if you're using Fiverr directly to it, just hit apply the changes. The cool thing is, as long as you're on site, you can't really mess it up. If you do one and one wasn't connected, you just won't have internet. But if you do it off site, you'll be screwed unless somebody there can do it for you or you can log in to a computer remotely and then fix it. But other than that, that's all you guys gotta do. I hope you guys have a rock and rolling day. I hope you guys are great, doing well. More videos will be coming. Just wanted to put this out there for a helpful tidbit. Have a wonderful day and 